All right, hey everybody, it's Townsend Bell. I'm in a Ferrari 488 GT LM at Le Mans. Probably one of my favorite racetracks in the world, and we're gonna start a lap here, but not before we get a penalty for track limits violation. Here we are on the front straightaway. Huge grandstands, kind of like the Indy 500 on the right and left-hand side. On race day, it's packed with fans. Coming down to turn one, this is fifth gear, uphill, light breathe of the throttle as you come through the apex of one, then heavy on the brakes down to second gear, take a lot of the first and second apex curbing in the Dunlop chicane. We go under the Dunlop bridge, come up through the gears, third, fourth, hug tight here to the Ballards, and then down to third, get off the brake early. It really dishes into the apex there, and then up and over the blind corner, and hill to Tetruge, very fast corner, brush of the brakes, fourth gear, back to throttle for the long Molson straight. Really important to get a good exit there. This is a chance to relax, check your mirrors, make sure you get your upshift just right, and enjoy the beautiful French countryside. We just came from the permanent circuit to the public roads. Molson's been broken up uh, for the last, I don't know, 20 years with these two chicanes. Really important to break as late as possible here for the first chicane, right at about the 150 more break there. Down four gears to second. And then out of the chicane, back up through the gears, check for traffic, for prototype traffic as we work over to the right-hand side. Back up to sixth gear, we'll be going 170 miles an hour, something like that, 175 in the draft. Down to the next chicane. This one will break even a little bit later than the first chicane, right about the 150 board. Count our downshifts, one, two, three, four, down to second gear. Little bit of this apex curve, exit wide. Use the traction control, lean on it in second gear, and then back up through the gears to finish the Molson straight. And then we're coming to the Molson hairpin. It's got a little bit of a right hand kink, it's a little bumpy on the right hand side. You've got to be careful not to lock an inside front tire. Light brake pedal, then heavy as the car settles down through the gears and then take all of the exit curb, straddle that bad boy, and back up through the gears. Now we are headed to Indianapolis. Indianapolis is a really cool corner, tons of entry speed, and then you really have to gather the car up on the brakes for Indy 2. Indy 1 is a fifth gear corner, Indy 2 is a second gear corner, and it rewards entry speed, but it'll penalize you heavily if you get it wrong. Here we go. Just past the 100 board, light break, down to fifth, try to gather it up, one, two, three on the downshifts, down to the apex, fighting it. Oh, we just made it, that was pretty good. And then down two gears for Arnage, the slowest corner on the track, try to get a smooth exit. Headed for Porsche curves, my favorite part of the track, the Porsche curves, really high speed. Very narrow, unforgiving. It feels a lot like oval racing through there. We'll enter in sixth gear here. Gonna come in down to fifth, delay the shift to fourth, pick up fourth, now back the throttle. Just squeezing it on. Gonna try to go flat here through the left-hander if we can. Not gonna make it. Tires are a little worn out here. Flow it into the next left-hander. Brake, pick up the apex curb right there. We jumped it a little bit. And then we're gonna turn in early here for karting and take a wide exit. Hopefully we don't get a penalty for track limits, which we did, went a little wide there. So we're gonna have to slow down. They do govern that quite heavily on the race weekend. And then into the Ford chicanes. This is really fast, a lot of curbing. And then down to second gear for the second of the Ford chicanes. Again, have to respect the track limits. And there we go. That is a lap at Circuit Le Sarth Le Mans. A great place. If you haven't been, you gotta go, it's on the bucket list.